Hey, good morning, YouTube. Um, Dr. Dual Sport. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, 25 degrees. Twenty five degrees. Let's see what we got on the odometer here. Okay. Odometer reading six five four point two. Six five four point two. It's uh, pretty pleasant, quite a pleasant temperature this morning. A lot different than those zeros. I didn't do a uh, ride yesterday morning. I, uh, after, you know, riding for, I don't know, more than a week or ten days straight or whatever, and then uh, after Sunday, Trying to rest up, coming uh, coming down with a little bit of a head cold, and then also, like every Monday morning, I have the chiropractor, and I just said, "Ah, what the heck, you know?" Because uh, we're just going to skip a day, so I didn't go yesterday. But I want you to look and see if you can see that uh, full moon. It it, it looks I did, you know I don't know that it's exactly the full moon, but I'll bet it is. And it's, I don't know uh, if any of you feel that, uh, if you uh, think that there's any effect of the moon on your uh, physical body, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, between that moon and uh, I think that was the cause of it. And then if you can see that old truck there, that old two-ton truck sit been sitting there for years. More than probably, uh, God, it's probably been, shit, about 14 years. Anyway, I was dreaming about that truck. That's a truck we used to use to haul water uh, for our sheep. And I, uh, since I sold out uh, my range herd, uh, I just haven't used it. It's been sitting there. Anyway, last night I was dreaming that I was, that we were going to the desert the next day with the sheep. And uh, that is always quite a uh, feat of logistics because there were so many things to get ready and get prepared. And, uh, you know, several vehicles and, and uh, equipment to get out there along, uh, like camps, the, the camp for the sheep herder to stay in, uh, the commissary wagon, which is a, uh, an enclosed wagon which would hold the hay and grain and saddles and supplies dog food, whatever, and uh, then you also had a uh, water truck, water troughs, and uh, then also you had to have your, the sheep had to be corralled and ready because you had seven uh, semi-trucks coming in the morning to load load everything, and uh, so everything had to go, go click, 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 and so that's what I was dreaming about, and I kept waking up, and and uh, then I was dreaming about that old water truck and um, that I needed to put some sea foam in the gasoline tank to get it running and then uh, you know how the your mind will kind of run away <laughs> then I kept I kept thinking that I needed to to uh, that I had downloaded new c codes for the engine and carburetor and I needed to upload them to the carburetor and that would fix it so that it would run properly and, and you know I just man it was a <laughs> it was a lot of work a whole night long <laughs> about every 15 minutes I'd uh, wake up and I'd be thinking about that <laughs> that's crazy but anyway that is a big old beautiful full moon nice to have the roads dried off a little bit for safety I, I really uh, actually enjoy riding and and on the snow the snow is it's fun to ride uh, 
you know, providing it's you have the proper traction and everything. That, you know, every snowstorm is different. You know, some of it's heavier, wetter, some of it's lighter, fluffier. But the, you know, ice, very much ice, you know, is, is not fun. It, it's just not user friendly. And uh, although, you know, we still try to ride and be safe, but you. Uh, You've still got to be careful. You know, you can't uh, really lean at any time at all or, uh, or anything like that. You need to be uh, growing straight and you need to be not accelerating or decelerating. And you just need to be smooth at all times. And then you, you always need to be prepared because the bike might shift. It might hit a little ridge in the snow and... Uh, shift a little bit or whatever you've got to be ready to, to to try to keep that bike going straight so anyway i'm gonna ride around a little bit this morning and show uh, enjoy myself i got about oh 45 minutes probably here i can ride around then i've got to go do that chiropractor thing again so anyway this is dr dual spar we'll check out uh back at you later Well, the roads were pretty much dry today. Up on the, I went clear out north uh, on the airport road, and then uh, come up to the highway uh, north of town, and then then back through Main Street. The Main Street was uh, like damp looking. Uh, looked like there was, you know, some little patches of a, where it almost looked frosty, but kind of like the windshield on that truck, but. Uh, I think maybe, maybe the maybe it's been treated because uh, it was uh, it was tacky. You know, there was uh, it wasn't slick at all. Anyway, our ending mileage six six seven point four six six seven point four, and this is Doctor Dual Sport out.